what's going on my nerds in the great words of todd packer this has a consecrated sphinx a euro and a crater hoof in a crater hoof what's the pick here gentlemen hmm. i'm gonna let you guys decide i know what i want I like Sphinx a lot. Let's all say it. Sphinx, it's true. I mean, I think Crater Hoof's eh, real good. Cutie Mo Shannon, you ain't even kidding. Green is the most open color, but you know blue sets you up the best for opening Time Walk and Ancestral Recall. Plus, dude, I'm just a sucker for a Consecrated Sphinx. You pick Euro before Sphinx? I'm gonna... Okay. Well. I don't know, man. You play the hand you're dealt. <laughs> yep. Put that... Right down there. Yeah, I ne and Euro is definitely not before Sphinx. You have to consider the fact that Euro is, is quite difficult to reanimate. Specifically, blue, blue, green, green. So basically, you're just literally taking a three mana growth spiral. And Consecrated Sphinx is just bananas. Ordinarily, I think Control Magic would be real good. But I just took a channel. So I'm going to take Ulamog. Eh, seems good. I mean, I can definitely see Worm Coil being the pick here because channel. Plus, it's just a solid six drop. Yeah, we're just taking Worm Coil. And no matter what color we play, Worm Coil will probably make the cut, so. Uh, what if we Stone Cold Serpent make a 1919? That's kind of cool, right? I also think Stone Cold Serpent is just good. Yeah, we're just taking Stone Coil. And it's got Trample. Man, that's wild. We can play Ulmog... And then Stone Coil for 9. Make a 9-9 nine, nine, and a 10-10. Ten, ten. That's the dream you want to... That's the dream you want to live, right? Um, Green Sun seems great with Channel, right? Like, if 3 green means you get any green creature. Yeah, alright. We're just going to... We're building around Channel quite heavily. But these, these cards are also quite versatile, so... Coil Tribal, Worm Coil, Stone Coil... <laughs> Jesus, you guys are, you guys are so, oh, Hydroid Crasses? Hey, man, that's good with Channel 2. All right, we're doing it. We're living the dream. Hunter opened the door when he came in here, so I'm now worried about the volume level. Hold on, let me go shut the door real quick. Yeah, I didn't want to wake up Katie or anything. Um, yeah, we're just taking Fraley's. I actually really like Fraley's. You fucking people need help. Is this real? <laughs> it's just fucking tables. Oh god, please don't glitch out. Oh god. Euro is in the same pack, so that's probably not going to happen. I'm just going to take Garrick. Okie dokie. 
the metal worker came back we only have two artifacts so far but it's gotta be better than biogenic ooze right is it ooze i guess ooze is fine metal worker just seems too good to pass up here i don't care about relic i, I definitely take metal worker or ooze over relic Oh, finale? All right, sure. Uh, take this just in case. Blood Braid just in case. Last pick. Okay. I mean, if we get like two Signets or like a Mox or like... I mean, Metal Worker could actually be very, very good. Whereas, I think I think Ooze is pretty replaceable. Hmm. So this is like pretty decent four right here. And also Phantasm Image. Um... I kind of like Tinker. I think the upside on Tinker is high. It also encourages us to take a Blight Steel. And I think like I think Image, Mystic, Slime, or Cloudscape will come back. I think the upside. I'm taking cards with high upside. Huh. Metamorph. We can just take Karn. Karn is actually great with Channel. Yeah, we're just going to take Karn. And I bet you're... What if you Eureka tables? That'd be pretty cool, right? Good lord. Can I can I change the size? Uh, yes, I can. Nice. Okay, we're going to... Channel into Finale into Ulamog in Profit. <laughs> does it give haste? I don't think it gives haste, right? Oh, it does give haste. God damn. Ancient Tomb is great. I think Oracle might be better, especially because we have... Is Oracle better? The problem is, okay, keep in mind, we have no ramp right now. You like Tomb over Oracle of Moldiah? I think Oracle's better. I do. I think Natural Order is pretty good. Yep, I'll just take Natural Order. Now I'm glad we took Oracle. Birthing Pot? I don't think Birthing Pot's good at all for us. We have literal 1-4 drop, 2-6 drops, an 8 drop, and a bunch of X spells that would only ramp into a 1 drop. Not ideal. Not ideal. Um, it could just be Bird. It could also be Demir Signet. Demir Signet's good for Tinker. It's also good for Metalworker. It's also a blue source. I think we're taking the Tinker. I mean, this is good for Oracle, though. Or Natural Order, rather. The only thing we have is Crater Hub. I think we're actually more of like... What's our deck doing? Goose does make artifacts. All right, that's actually, that'll sell me. Breeding pool. Okay, now we're talking. Misha's workshop is interesting. It's not good, it's just interesting. I guess it's just, huh. I think our deck needs a lot. I, I don't love Chrome Mox. Chrome Mox is eh. I'm going to take Sword just because it does work with Metalworker. <sighs> Memory Jar seems kind of meh. Spell Pack seems kind of meh. I'm going to take the Jar. If we open like Jar channel, we can crack Jar, try to get like Ulamog, and then kill that way it's definitely an option um hangerback walker is also pretty decent for yeah we're just taking hangerback here oh the eureka came back fascinating lion's eye diamond sure i'll hate it oh walking ballista okay um 
I'm gonna take Banishing Light. Hmm. I don't think we're natural ordering here. Workshop definitely more interesting now that we got both Hanger Back and Walking Blista. What is Lapse of Certainty doing in this cube? Super weird. Elder Gargaroth is cool. Golgari Signet is cool. Cultivate is fine. We really have no... We have very few, like, early creatures here. Oh boy. We got an Ulamog at the end there. Hmm. I do like Cultivate. Yeah, I'm just taking the Cultivate here. Oh, Primeval Titan. That is a creature. And a good one. Yeah, we're definitely taking Primeval Titan here. These are kind of like two drops. Kind of. I think Hex Drinker is fine in the decks he goes in, but to go all in on Hex Drinker is a little much. I do love a Gaia's Cradle, but we're definitely not a Gaia's Cradle just yet with Gilded Gear. Like, we just don't have the creatures for it. I think we actually just want Llanowar Elf here. We're definitely not a Jitte deck either. I mean, I can even see Botanical Sanctum, but the fact that we have so few, like, early ramp uh, is kind of a no bueno. Hmm. Does Hermit do anything for us? I mean, it's just a guy that we can get, which is not terrible. We could go with Crater Hoof. I mean, we're not cutting Tinker yet. We also still have Metalworker and Sword. So we have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven artifacts so far. It's not bad. I mean, if you even have one in hand, Metalworker just ramps two. Well, that's what we want for... That's definitely what we want for Channel. And ideally, Woodfall or Search comes back. Yeah, we're definitely taking Ulamog here. And by Ulamog, I mean Emrakul. You know the one. Oh, screw a Tri-Builder? Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Now we are cooking with gasoline. Well, if you were looking for the premier five drop for your deck, you found her. Fast bond. I mean, Inkwell is also pretty good with Tinker. Take an Inkwell here. Inky Stinky in the Tinky. I don't know what any of that means, but it sounded terrible. I'm going to take Signet. That's really good. Hey, look, your boy came back. Also, Inkwell Leviathan, another card we can reveal with Metalworker. So... I mean, Stone Coil for one. <laughs> Stringer was adopted. He ain't mine. Dang. Yeah, I'll take this. 
We can even splash it off our signet. Hmm. Oh my god, they both came back? God, I don't think we're even a natural order deck, unfortunately. I do think it's search. Eureka's Castle. God, every time it's in my brain. Um, Jesus, this look at the look at the curve on this deck, and we still got an Emer we still got an Ulamog and an Emerald at the other end. Oh God, what are we doing here? Good grief. Okay, Memory Jar is out. Uh, search is another kind of cool one drop. How's Metalworker looking here? I mean, this is kind of like the Tinker Metalworker package. One, two, three. So eight, seven artifacts that we could have in hand. Greater Hoof got Primeval Titan. So here's a crazy idea. Cut Tinker. Cut Inker. Cut Sphinker. Cut Crassus. Bring in Natural Order. How is this looking? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we could just cut blue all together. I don't even love sword that much, to be honest with you. We could bring in like Deranged Tournament and maybe even Eureka with Ulamog, Craterhoof, Karn. Like, this could be a Eureka deck. <laughs> um. Let's take out Metalworker. Let's take out Sword. I also don't think we need both of these. So now we get two spots. We can bring in Eureka and maybe Hex Drinker. Hmm. I mean, also going channel on turn two and, and pumping Hex Drinker all the way is not terrible it just gives you it's basically build your own progenitus okay guys this is an interesting deck all right we also have emerkel and ulamog but we also have i mean like going mono forests is also better for nissa as well and we have green sun zenith too Actually, do we want? So here's an interesting question. Finale is any creature, right? Green Sun is only green creature. I wonder if Finale's better here. I mean, what are the creatures it can get actually? Ulmog, Emrakul. I mean, so if we have like Finale and Channel in hand and four green, then we can still go to an Emrakul for 15 and give it haste. I think that's actually probably better. Yeah, I'm going to go with Finale instead. Okay. I'm sorry whoever, whoever paired with us that I canceled. I can't believe we're playing Eureka. It's kind of funny. I 
I mean, this deck, we got most of the powerful cards. We got Ulmog and Emrakul. We got Craterhoof, Karn. Yeah. Oh, God. Do we hope to... Oh, God. I'm going to keep it because this is something. Oh, God. It's so bad. Uh, nothing really stands out to me except for, like, the card that, like, prevents you from tutoring. That card's pretty sweet. I'm sure there's others, but, like, the set is really hard to parse because there's so many cards that, like... Like, once a card says Commander in the card, I kind of, like, stop reading. I'm like, oh, okay, that's the end. <laughs> if they're mono... Oh, that's good. We definitely do have all our colors. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, we'll do this for one. That seems fine. It's extremely unexciting, but... I just don't want to invest a million mana into a Hex Drinker here. I think Oracle into, like, trying to get Ulamog down is probably the better plan. Especially when they're untapping with seven mana. But well, no, because next turn our plan is to Oracle of Moldiah, right? So we're not going to be able to pump it at all. So, I mean, I'd rather play Oracle before playing my land, so that I can get at least two lands off my deck, if possible. So, I don't know. I mean, like they have a significant mana advantage right now, so I'm just trying to uh, not get wrecked by that. Don't tap that grip. Oh boy. Yep. See, this is this is pretty bad, and I'm pretty sure we're just dead next turn. Oh god. Oh, worm coil. Oh god. It's a walking ballista for three. They're gonna shoot elf and then shoot oracle. Memory jar. It's a lot of lands. Yep. Uh yep. And now we get a search. That's pretty good. It's not good but ideally <laughs> the search goes away they memory draw this turn they're gonna draw seven cards I definitely should have searched up soaring I feel stupid for not having done so yeah this is just a risky hand but I mean like if we drew like Eureka if we drew uh you know, channel, like, I think it would have been good. Like, I mean, obviously I'm putting my hope in two cards, but... Interesting. Smokestack. Five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is ten next turn. So we literally can cast a Ulmog. Sack Oracle Forest Ulmog. That's the way, right? That's the ticket. That was a good hand. It's all going to get shuffled back, though. So... I mean, it's all, again, it's going to get shuffled back because of Emrakul in hand, so that seems fine. Hmm. 
you can draw a walking ballista, which is pretty good actually. So we have eight, nine, ten. They'll put us down to four. We can go shoot, shoot, bomb, shoot, bomb, shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, they just let us do it. Wow, that's kind of cool. Wow. Untapped or shot important, and you choose not to use it. I mean, that's what we were kind of hoping for. <laughs> But even so, they knew we were drawing Walking Blist, and this is 10 mana, so you could put us on 9, which is like an ex like one less counter. What did they just do? They tapped their... Oh, okay. So you draw a Signet. What was the other card they drew? What was the other card that was on top of the library? Was it a Forest? I thought it was. Yeah, okay. Called out the Forge Master, huh? I mean me sacking Oracle was liter was literally dependent I'm just gonna get Crater Hoof here, right? Like we can get something for eight. It's Crater Hoof. Crater Hoof is eight damage. This guy This guy gets trample, right? Crater Hoof gives trample, right? It's 8 plus 13 damage. Unfortunately, we do have to tap this guy. And it's only 8, not 10. Um, so the 21... So they have to soak up 5 of it, 6 of it. So they can just go block, block, block. Sack these three. I don't know what they get, but I don't think it's going to have haste. What else can we get? Primeval Titan? That guy's good. I don't really care about the Forge Master, to be honest. If they want to sack Forge Master, Grim Monolith, Sword, like. It doesn't really. Like, I mean, I can't think of. The, the, worst, th the worst thing they could probably get is, like, Mind Slaver. And then they mind slaver our turn, but we have only creatures anyway. So it's like. Search that library. So we can get anything here. And I'm pretty sure it's just it's just Crater Hoof. I mean, they can also attack us with this guy, but I don't really give a shit. I'm at 16. They can, like, equip Forge Master attack, but, like, again, we have Emrakul in our deck, so we're not going to get milled. The fact that they haven't used this twice in a row is just comical. <laughs> like, I mean, you could literally put me off, you could have put me off Hoof this turn and off of Emrakul last turn, but instead, like, you're sitting here with two mana but not doing anything with it. It's kind of weird. Yes, Ulamog milling 20 is the superior mill. I mean, unfortunately, like they, they also have a Kozilek that we've seen in their deck, so. Ulamog does exile. I'm an idiot. You're right. Wow, that's true. That's a good point. You guys are smart, man. God, you guys have played Magic before. And our hand was terrible. Do you remember the hand we kept? Five lands, finale, Ulamog. <laughs> yeah, I could see Eureka being risky. But I don't care. <laughs> Uh, 
You know what? I'll keep this. <laughs> Sometimes you do gotta roll the dice, man. Turn two Signet, turn three Oracle without having played land so we get to maximize. You think I give a flying fudge? Oh, that, that guy's a real pain. We still got to play Signet. Oh God! Praise the Shuffler. Lucky, 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 lucky. Oh, Metalworker, eh? Huh. Well, that's a thing, isn't it? Isn't that a thing? Guys, are we gonna do the 1919 Stone Coil? And they're at 19, so it's literally just an abyss. They have to block it every turn. Out of their five cards... Look, it looks like they're building the same... They were they were the same mono-green Metalworker deck that we tried to be. And I was like, no way. Get these, get these shitty Metalworkers out of my deck. Oh, they didn't do anything. Oh, there's a... Hmm. 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 What is this? You're just what? What? <laughs> what? I don't understand. What's happening right now? You know what? I believe in the memes. <laughs> 2020. Deal with that. Okay. They're doing some metal worker nonsense. They revealed no cards. Play to land. Land. Okay. I just want to tag with this one dude, right? Okay. <laughs> 2020 snake man. All right. Well, that was a good time. This hand seems really good. If we can top deck a channel, guys, I don't even want to tell you how good that seems. Come on, one time. Meet it. Meet it. Meet it. Oh, God, that's really close, though. Okay. 
Well, we tried. <laughs> what a game. What a game. <laughs> keep it i'm keeping this because karn is the great equalizer when it comes when it comes to eureka and i think we're gonna like i think you're gonna love how you look oh If you give me an Emrakul, then we'll talk. Is this the same fucking deck that went double channel? Double green channel? What are we playing against? Okay, well we know that Emrakul is not in their hand, which is pretty sweet. Hmm. They have four cards. Like, we're putting at least three cards into play. Let's do it. Oof. So they have to kill two of their own lands. <laughs> they would have had to kill. They would have had to kill. Uh, mountain island, island. We get to exile this. They get to go kill the other mountain. We lose two lands. We have a Garrick. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh man, we could have drawn Crater Hoof. Hoof, there it is. Wow. Now they'll board into mono black. Uh, I'm tempted to take out Golgari's signet, like, just because it's literally our only signet. And, like, honestly, if we draw if we draw Green Sun Zenith, it does the same thing. Which might actually make Green Sun better in this deck. It's just way more versatile. Like, on two, it's literally always going to be a, a ramp card. Okay, this is actually pretty interesting.
That's a good one. I used to ride motorcycles with the Orzal of Angels. <laughs> no, you didn't, you fucking liar. God. I think I think ramping to four mana next turn is much better, especially when we have natural order. Although I wish I remembered what we had to get. You don't know my life. That's true. That's true. Cultivatos. Although I might be thinking of Sansa. Or the Mayans. Which is a show I actually want to start watching. I'm a big Sons of Anarchy fan. I've seen I think I've seen it like three times, so like I have not watched the Mayans yet though. What do we get with natural order? Does that get anything for us? Eureka's Castle. See, Dak Faden? I like it. Okay, I feel like we're actually... Does that do anything? That doesn't do anything, right? Hmm. So, to be clear, we can pump this guy to an 8-8. Eight eight, or 6-6, six six rather. And then it's a two-turn clock. Or we can Primeval Titan. 5-6-7... Eight nine. We're not in Emrakul range at all. I mean, I would also probably be. I would. I would definitely be tempted to kill the deck first. Or we just attack them and make them have it. Yeah, it's a protection for everything, sure. I mean, you can upheaval, I guess. They drew... They drew two cards, so they went to two. Oh, no, that's no, that's actually the... Um, mystical Tutor in main phase. Are they just looking for something? Seeing what their options are? Because they can't upheaval now, because they don't have six... And now people like the one thing I could think they would do. Plus, they also wouldn't even get to play a land afterwards. I mean, this is pro everything, and you're at six. <laughs> wow. This is a weird deck for them to have to to, to have gone channel game one into Kozilek. and then we just win the match, maybe. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're gonna Eureka. They're gonna Eureka. 
<laughs> oh, it's happening. Okay, you got it. I'll put prime time in play. I'm done. Oh no! Wait, what? Oh, I'm getting the lands. I mean, that's still fine. That's sad. Buy Emrakul. What wild swings, man. Hmm, I'm trying to see like the cutest way to do this, right? Make a beast, natural order. Seven, eight, nine. Doesn't matter. Nah, I'll just attack for six. No, I'll just plus three. That guy has pro everything. Man, Hex Drinker. <laughs> Wild. Alright, this is this is friggin' amazing. I don't even know what's happening right now. You open yourself up to them having one green and like nature's claim that destroys an artifact or chairman and they gain four using it on their library. Yeah. I mean, I guess. <laughs> That's super niche. Oh, they also had no cards in hand because they eureka so. I feel like you're literally just trying to flex right now. It's pretty niche, yes. Na nature's claim being the last card in their hand is is pretty is pretty I mean I don't know how many cards they had in hand I don't think it matters I mean I think it's like really Right, I mean, like we had, we still had ballista in hand. So they go to what do they go to? They go to they go to not they go to. They were at six. They go to ten. So, we deal nine, and then they go to one, and then we just ballista them. Like I don't think we were in any sort of danger. So we can go hex drinker. Goosey. in your tribals. Let's get down to business. No, they didn't go to four because we ultimated Garrick. We, we attacked with a 9-9. Nine nine. Fascinating. One day I'll make a man 
out of you. Really? Sure. Remand and repeal. Oh, okay. I see. You guys think they're going to have a... No. Exile target non-land permanent. Sure. Oh, don't do that. Attack. We're definitely attacking Tefri here. Okay, so now we have 5, 10, 6, 12, 13, 14 mana. That's pretty good. Toxic Deluge. That seems fine when we still get to keep Nissa on board. Unless they vindicate her. No, they just got rid of, they just exiled some things. And then they vindicated her. Holy fucking shit. Oh, wow. Lucky, 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 lucky. Yep, cool. Super cool. Had to have Vindicate Toxic Deluge. Amazing. Oh, cool, another Teferi. Boy, this is... This is good stuff. <laughs> Let's see your fucking cryptic command. Let's see it. All right. Concede. Ready? I mean, you've had every single other card you've needed. Wow, fucking amazing. Please go play the lottery. Wow. Vindicate Toxic Deluge. Repeal to bounce my guy, then remand to counter it. Yeah, all right. Sounds good. Sounds very good. Play the lottery, must be.
Remember that? Remember channel, guys? Do you guys remember drafting channel? I'm gonna mulligan this hand. This hand does not do anything. This might be better. Ship a land. Oh boy. If we get a land and we can go Eureka, <laughs> actually seems pretty decent. Ready? This is what we're here for, right? Like we're not here to to play the coward. You got spell pairs? You got days? They're like, oh dang, I have no permanence in my hand. I don't know what's happening right now. Sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> That's pretty good. I think they might have outdone us here. I wish they had an artifact or enchantment I could destroy. I mean, that was pretty good. What can you do? We tried. Watch the last card in their hand is Vindicate. Oh, they make a sacrifice this. Uh, Nissa cannot plus without animating. No, you're putting three counters on a creature. Uh, I guess I'll sacrifice this one. So we have a creature that makes three threes and a creature that makes a one one token. They have a planeswalker that gets rid of a one one token and a one that makes you sacrifice the three threes. I mean, it seems good. Here comes Garrick Wildspeaker. Oh, I'm just shambling that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So five, so four. No, they can't divide it in any kind of meaningful way. Yep, you get to eat Fraley's. You get to eat, and you two kill Karn. Yeah, sure, I guess that's fine. Oh boy. Oh good grief. Guys, I think that might do it. Attack. Kaya. That's pretty comical. I don't care about Liliana. They're going to make us discard. We don't have a card. They can discard. I think Kaya's a bigger, more obnoxious threat. Maybe? I don't even know.
Aren't you close to five? I don't want to kill another land for sure. Why aren't they going face with Fallen Shinobi? Like, I have an Emrakul on the top. Like, I have to block. Yeah, Gonti does have Death Touch. Yep, okay. Yeah, they can just activate Shambling Event. Like, I'm just... Yeah, I'm, this is an uphill battle. But I'm just not... Either way, thank you guys for watching. Still not a bad record. Two, three, oh, three, oh, two, one for tonight. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash frankthorn. Manitraders.com. 15% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below. Be sure to check them out. And I'll see you guys next time.